used to always go to the pool in the summertime and she would actually walk to her aunt and uncle's house which were and she would have to pass that house all the time so I kind of noticed her back then. I knew of him because he was a senior when I was a sophomore so I just knew of him from being in a small school but I think the first time I was introduced to him was at he was at his aunt's pool and I was at my aunt's pool and their neighbors. We didn't really develop a relationship or a friendship until I guess my senior year. It was just one of those things where we kind of knew each other and say hi in passing. But uh, from there, um, we started getting a little bit closer and then uh, I actually dated her for a short time in high school. That kind of lasted for a little bit and then I was getting ready to go to college and it, you know how it is. She was She's a couple years younger than me so it just didn't seem like it was working out at the time. So uh, that's kind of how everything got started though. Our love is unconditional We knew it from the start I see it in your eyes You can feel it from my heart I don't know, we always, I think we both say we always knew that there was something there but just timing and circumstances and all of that I think just with him graduating and like getting a job and stuff and. I was younger, but I was still ready to like commit to a relationship. And it was hard because we were away. Like he was, he came home, and I was still in Lexington, and we did that for like a year and a half or two years. But at that point, I think we both just realized it was worth it. For me, and I guess for maybe for both of us, it wasn't like it was love at first sight, but it was one of those things where I always had this strong feeling with her that I could just, it, I, it was it's so hard to describe, and I don't know what it was, but I was going on vacation with her and her family. And I guess it was at some point on that vacation to Hilton Head that I just realized, like, I, I want to be with her for the rest of my life. I, this is definitely the one. I know she makes me the happiest person in the world. She makes me want to be a better person. And from there, it was just like it clicked. And it was the most amazing feeling in the world for me. He went to Hilton Head with my family. Um, he was the first person I ever even took on it, like a family vacation or anything like that. And not that it was fun, but my, my grandpa was at home and he passed away while we were down there. And just the way that he helped through all of that. And so it just sticks out in my mind as one of like, the vacation leading up to that point was so much fun. But then after that it became meaningful too because I felt like he helped me get through that. As we look into the future, it's as far as we can see. So let's make each tomorrow be the best that it can be. I knew he was the one. It was, we had been home for a summer. It was, we had been dating for almost a year and I had been home all summer and I was going back to school. And the night before I left, I was really upset because I didn't want to leave and he was staying up here. And he told me I was his best friend. So I, at that point, I knew that I was more than a girlfriend. When I asked her to marry me, she didn't say yes, she said okay, so I kind of took that as, I guess, she, I guess she wanted to marry me, I wasn't exactly sure at the time, but uh, it was it was really memorable experience, um, you know, something I'll never forget, and I just remember the look in her eyes when it happened, and just how, how joyful it was for her and for me, and it just, I'll, I'll never forget that. I had just graduated, and he took me out, and he gave me a card, and in the card he wrote this, I, I think he did it because he knew he couldn't say it. I think he would have cried the whole time. So he went the easy way and wrote it all down and I read it. And at the end, um, it said P.S. And when I looked up, he was on his knee and asked me to marry him. And I said, okay. <laughs> I, it's hard to really say what will go through my mind. I, I just picture it just being the, one of the greatest moments of my life and just feeling like the luckiest person in the world because she's got the most beautiful smile and just to know that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with her is going to just, it's, I'm sure it's going to hit me and I'll break down. I can be an emotional guy sometimes. I cross my heart and promise to give all I've got to give to make all your dreams come true. I think I want him to know that I'll always be there for him, and even when I don't like him, I'll try my hardest, and that I love him, and that I'm really excited to spend the rest of my life with him. The one thing I want her to know more than anything is that no matter what happens through any 
trials and tri tribulations and great memories that we have is that I'll always, I'll always be there for her. Uh, I will always love her no matter what through, through anything, and that I'll do my very best to be the best husband and eventually father that I can be, and that that'll never change. And that no matter what we go through, I'll always love her no matter no matter what. In all the world, you never find a love as true as mine. A love as true as mine.